Hello, babes. It's Mrs. Knight. I miss you guys. Love ya. Um, I am so, so excited. We are going to read chapter four today of Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day. Um, yesterday we read chapter three. Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day in room eight. And she does not really understand what that means. Captain Field Day is somebody who's supposed to be encouraging to the team. They support the team. They unite the team by bringing them together and kind of uplifting them. And Junie B. Jones, when she heard she was Captain Field Day, ran around the room yelling about how I'm going to be the boss of everybody. <laughs> so she doesn't really get it, which makes sense because it's Junie B. She thinks that she's a superhero now. So she got a cape um, from Mrs. That's actually just a towel. And they're lining up right now to go outside. So this chapter, chapter four is called New Thelma is going to be the beginning of field day. And it's a really good one. So if you have predictions again, let me know. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Um, this is such a good Judy B book and I'm so excited to read it with all of you. Okay. Chapter four, new Thelma. I know two people in room eight. First, I know a boy named handsome Warren. He was a new kid at school. I used to love him only now I don't even see him hardly. So he is just regular Warren and that's all. I know another kid in room eight too. Her name is new Thelma. The first day she came to our school, my boyfriend named Ricardo chased her all over the playground. I hollered and hollered for him to stop, but he said chasing new Thelma was fun. And so that is how come he dumped me. Dumped is the grown up word for when you have to find a new Ricardo. Junie B should not be talking about boys in kindergarten. Oh my goodness, I wonder what's going to happen with New Thelma if this chapter is called New Thelma. Just then, the school door opened and room eight came running out to the playground. The roommate teacher was at the front of their line. She was holding someone's hand. <gasps> I did a gasp. Because guess what? It was New Thelma. New Thelma was the captain of room eight, I think. Mrs. smiled at me. Okay, Junie B, here's what happens next. As soon as they get out here, you and the team captain of room eight shake hands. And then field day can begin. I felt kind of sickish inside. Yeah, only here's the problem. I said, I don't actually like that girl. And so I will just shake hands with the roommate teacher instead. No, Junie B, said Mrs. That's not how it's done. Team captains shake hands with each other. It's the way teams show good sportsmanship. I wonder, I think that you guys do know what good sportsmanship is, right? Good sportsmanship is when you play, you know, fairly like in a competitive game and you, you choose to be respectful, even if sometimes it can be tricky. Um, it's the way teams show good sportsmanship. After that, Mrs. marched me right over to New Thelma. And wait till you hear this. That pushy girl grabbed my hand without even asking. Hey, I know you, she said real giggly. I've seen you on the playground before. You're a friend of Ricardo's. After that, she shaked my hand very hard. I did not shake back. Oh my goodness, poor New Thelma. She's just trying to be nice to Junie B. And there's Junie B. Jones just being a little grouch McGee and not shaking her hand. Mrs. leaned next to my ear. Her voice did not sound happy. Wish her team good luck, Junie B. She whispered, now. I did a huffy breath. <sighs> okay, fine. Good luck, Thelma. I grouched. New Thelma said, good luck back to me. Then she tried to take, shake my hand some more, but I quick pulled it away. Don't touch the merchandise, I said. After that, Mrs. took my arm and we went back to my team. Just then, oh, and guess what? Just then, I heard my grandpa Miller call my name. I looked up. He and my grandma were coming across the playground with mother and daddy. I run to them speedy fast. Look, people, look, look. I am Captain Field Day. See my cape? I am captain of this whole entire production. 
Grandpa Miller smiled real proud. Then he picked me up in the air and he flew me around and around just like a real superhero. Pretty soon, I heard Mrs. Blow her whistle. Then Grandpa Miller put me down and I hurried back to my team. Cause it was Captain Field Day to the rescue. Thanks! Chapter five is called Event Number One. Bum, bum, bum! Oh my goodness, so Junie B. Jones. <laughs> I'd say is already not really off to a good start. She had a chance to just be encouraging and, you know, show good sportsmanship. And she was still just kind of grouchy to poor new Thelma, who is a new kid at Junie B. Jones' school and, and needs just a lot of, you know, support and making friends. And Junie B. Jones just cannot even be nice to her. So we'll see how everything goes between room eight and room nine with new Thelma being the captain with Judy B. Jones being the captain. I wonder if that's going to cause any issues. Um, I am probably not going to read Junie B. this weekend unless you guys want me to. So let me know if you guys want to comment. Um, there's a spot on our Google classroom for you guys to comment. Um, if you want to read Junie B. this weekend, comment on that spot and let me know. And then I can, I can make a video tomorrow for you guys. Cause I love you so much. So um, that's it. I love you. Have a good weekend. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.